Power Pro Wrestling. Power Pro Wrestling. Somebody said, expect the unexpected. It's the owner, the founder, the president of Power Pro Wrestling on Monday night. It's time for the Power Hour Watch Along. We're not going to waste any time by having me do a monologue here because I have questions. I have statements. I have something to say, and I don't want to say it by myself as we're waiting for people to come in the room. But as we wait for people to come in the room, well, as we wait to get this thing rocking and rolling, we're going to bring onto this show right now the producer of the show and the co-host of the show, Adam Dunn. What in the world's going on with hey. you? You look like hell. <laughs> wow. Okay, great. How about that? Now I had a question for you. I'm going to put you on the spot. I'm going to ask you the question. Now, do you like the baby face, the nice guy, Randy Hills, or do you like the expect the unexpected Randy Hills? Do you like the owner, the founder, the president, Randy Hills? Do you like the nice guy, Randy Hills, or do you like that sneaky, no good son of a gun, Randy Hills? <laughs> Which Randy Hills do you like? Well, I think it depends on the uh, situation. I certainly don't like the bad guy, Randy Hills, coming on the show saying I look like look terrible. But uh, from a booking and professional wrestling standpoint, I think I like bad guy, Randy Hills. Now, Panetta says, hello, everyone. And Panetta, do you like nice guy, Randy, or do you like the owner, the founder, the president? Do you like Hill, Randy? Which Randy do you prefer? Because I ask you this. Adam, because I have a thought. I have something that I just want to get off my chest. That's kind of okay. like a mental health. You see that on the news all the time about mental health. And I've never had that. Panetta says, I like Hill. Like Hill so, so far, it's pretty much agreeable. But here's the thing. How long has it been? Almost five years, or it has been five years since I've done something real dastardly, probably, would yeah. you say? Yeah. Probably real dis dastardly. Well, it's no fun to be a nice guy. It's like it's no <laughs> fun to be a baby face. I think those days need to come along. Now, I know Al Tuttle, who we're asking the question today, do you like mean Randy Hills? The Hill Randy Hills or the boring, nice guy Randy Hills? Now, Panetta and Adam, much like, unless I'm insulting his, I, would, I really didn't really mean to say your dress bad or something like that, but obviously you're having allergy problems and, yeah. and you sound better. You, you look fine. You just sound like crap. But okay. we're trying to figure out, now Randy Lusk, uh, whether he likes the nice guy Randy or the bad guy Randy, sometimes when he confuses me on, he sends me all kinds of messenger, and he says, hey, period, Randy, period, hey, period. He gives me a headache on his text, and I need to give a class. But anyway, here's the, <coughs> the thing. Hey, Randy, what's going on? Who else is in? And say what I he mean? Like, he likes bad Randy. Bad Randy, like bad. I can be bad Randy, and I'm telling you, I'm gonna be bad Randy enough to make you nervous tomorrow. Cause you, where I'm gonna go is not playing politics at all, and I think that might make you nervous a little bit. But I just saw something, and we're gonna play it in just a few minutes. The last time I had a time in my life, it was great. I was mad. I was booked and Joe Brooke, mad at the situation going on. I was promoting a, a match in Jonesboro, as a matter of fact, five years ago, and all kinds of things going on. And I just showed up at K Fine Radio. I just showed up at them, and they didn't know I was coming. I yeah. showed up, 
and let's watch. And let me say this one thing. This, we're playing it from a different area. So folks, neither one of us, Adam Dunn, that's him right there. Did I introduce Adam today? I, I remember yeah. saying he looked like crap. Very, very flattering, yeah, crap. thank you. Look great crap, he sounds like crap, but now he's sounding uh, better. And Jeff Rolf Wheeler likes bad guy. Well, be careful what you wish for. Remember, we can't talk over this. We will talk when we get out of it, and then Adam will do his pre preview, and we'll get the show going on. I just like watching the sh starting the show different. We certainly will. Back to five years ago. Here we go. This is Baxter's work. This is Kayvon. That's what I think about Brandon Baxter. He'll be surprised at this. He'll be surprised at this. Where is he? Hey! Hey! Baxter! Brandon Baxter, you coward! You coward! You stinky coward! Where's Baxter? Is everybody gone? They, are you locked up? Here we go! Here we go! What are you doing out here? What are you doing? I'm working. This where's is Baxter? I don't know where he's at. Hey, what you're the guy. Thing? You're the guy. Hey, shut up and listen to me. You're the guy. As I was driving from Memphis, said you could want me 120 pounds. Did you say that? Could you? We can't could you? Do you this think here. you could want me? You know better. We can't do this here. We have to get out of here. Ah. Ah. Come on, you redneck. You a tough guy. You a tough guy. Are you tough? Are you tough? Are you tough? Do it. All right. Expect the unexpected. Is that called expect the unexpected? Is that called getting heat? Yeah. Was there anything funny about that? No, not, Except not really. I kind of thought it was hilarious that the barrel boy, who I guess he was there and he he really as a shoot pissed me off when I was driving over and he said uh, that anybody can whoop me. Uh, so he can whoop me. He said that on the radio. I'm thinking, okay, now let's see if he can. Let's see if he can. Anyway, so that's the thing there. Did you enjoy that? Yeah, absolutely. Did you see any similarities between a Power Pro Wrestling book show and yeah. that what we just saw? Yeah, I mean, it, it looks like it could have been something that, that happened during a Power Pro show. I mean, you, Brandon, Derek, and the radio station, I, it felt like it was a more modern-day Power Pro uh, episode. You know, I like thinking outside the box and doing weird things. Right. And you like you like watching outside the box and, and seeing that and showing that. But I think people probably enjoyed that. Hey, everybody, hope everybody's doing good. Thanks for being here for the Power Hour. We'll be here for Talking Memphis Wrestling tomorrow night. I'll give you a history. And I'm going to tell some stuff tomorrow as I talk about the history, Adam, that I've actually, yeah. that I've actually never told you. Okay. I've, never, I've never told anybody. Uh, I don't think it, the people that, that was there that, that would know. But I would, there's kind of a lot of things that... We will talk about tomorrow, so that'll be exciting. But this is not that. This is the Power Pro Watch.
watch along. This is time for you to go full screen. This is the time okay. for you to have your shining light, your shining moment. This All is right. time for you to tell everybody what we're going to see here from show number 35 from December the 12th, 1998. <laughs> All right, exactly right. December 12th, 1998 is episode 35 of Power Pro Wrestling. We're I going said to see that. Derek, yeah, we're going to see okay. Derek King going well, up go against ahead. Lance Jade. We're going to see in the studio, the King returns. He wasn't there last week. He'll be here today. We'll see the streak taking on Ken Raper. Mick Tyranny goes crazy. We'll see Vicious Vic Grimes and Baldo. They'll be going against Bulldog Reigns and Aaron O'Grady. Randy Hales will be live in the studio. We'll see Sean Stasiak teaming up with Too Sexy Brian Christopher to go against the King and the Superstar. And Brandon steals something from Randy. So we'll have to see what that is as the show goes on today. So should be, yet again, 35 episodes in, should be another good power hour coming up. I cannot believe Rod W. Robinson just showed up. When I shot that that gun evil, if you ask the question out there, you like evil Randy or good Randy, and we all determined we like evil Randy. Then I go back from five years ago when I busted in. Do you think we should show that again? I like that so much. I like that so much. What do you think? We can, or do you want to hold it to the end, end of the show, or do you want to show it again now? We can hold it to the end, or we can do it both. We can do it now, or we can do it then, or we can do it both. But but no, we've already previewed what we're going to see today. We're going to get right into the power hour. Here's another thing. I watch, I know, how much do you watch? Adam, don't go away quite yet, because I have a question for you. How, <laughs> okay. much, how much do you watch this show back? Um, occasionally, um, I, I might watch it back once. Usually the next day I might watch a little bit of it. I always watch it back to see what's good and what's bad and see what I could have said different or what you could have said different or, or shots wrong or whatever. But one thing I've noticed, I get carried away sometimes. That's just kind of my personality as being the owner of the president of Power Pro Wrestling. And I talk with my hands and I thought I was doing that too much. I was was waving around and going crazy. I thought that I'd accidentally end up, if I'm not careful, clotheslining myself and take a big ass bump out of the chair. I don't know. It would be uh, crazy as uh, Brooks is in, <coughs> in the house. Brooks, I'll warn you, it's Hill Randy tonight, buddy. It's Hill Randy tonight. It's, let's get into the power hour right now. This is Randy Hales, the owner of Power Pro Wrestling. Look at Brandon Baxter last week. He attacked Tony Falk, threw powder in his eyes, could have blinded him for life. And look at this. This is illegal. This is against the law. Look at him. He tries to kid me. He does kidnap me. He puts me in a car. Can you believe it? Brandon Baxter is barred from Power Pro Wrestling today. He's barred from the building. Tony, about got run over, Adam. That's all that. Our Pro T shirt on the guy from the front row. Dave Brown and Corey Macklin here at ringside. A huge crowd ready for the Power Hour live from the studios of WMC TV 5 today. We got a big one coming up here today. Brandon's banned from the building, says Randy. And what is Tony this? Falk. Tony Falk wandering around. With... I'm so excited. Today is Randy. Hello, Hale's Andrew Calvin. He's going to have a party because I'm so November 12th, 98, Randy Hale's birthday. Actually, my birthday, December the 10th. We got a wrestling show to do. So Tony was wrong. Dave, you know the number one ruling. You don't make the boss mad on his birthday. I'm telling everybody we're going to have a big birthday bash right here today. Well, we, we can have a birthday bash if you want to. Happy birthday, but I'm not wearing the hat. And don't go bringing a cake out here because everybody yeah, knows what happens uh, when you I have cake want around want a wrestling Tony match. No, nah, come on. Hey, come on, come on Tony. Now, Tony, we've we we got to. Y'all gonna stuff. have to show some respect for the owner and the founder and the president of Power Pro Wrestling. Come on, guys, you gotta show a little respect. What we're gonna do is tell you what's coming up on the uh, on the show here today. Yeah, we've got a Young Guns Championship match. Lance Jade, the surprise winner yeah. last week. 
What a shock. He's going to be here today. Landshade, we'll see him in action. Also coming up, we've got Streak. He's going to be here today. And a couple of tag team bouts, huh? Indeed, including the one. The big challenge was made. Bill Dundee and Jerry Lawler teaming I'm up. I'm trying to think, because I didn't preview this Brian show. Do I can, a perfect thing would be could, me coming back that, or later on in the show and telling Tony, Tony, you dumb idiot. My birthday was two days ago. So I'm thinking that's what we probably did. Derry King, the number one contender, he has oh, yeah. really tried to get this Young Guns championship. He really has. Dave. Kid Wicked, of course, uh, took ownership, basically, of the trophy. He won it. He's kind of like, like Jeff Gordon in NASCAR. He won every match he was in. Yeah. And uh, So he, I had he, uh, just turned uh, just 37 won years the championship old. And kept it, but lately it's been a different That's how old I am now. O'Grady, am I right on that? I was born December 10th, 61. This is 98. With Help me with math. Trophy. Derek King, the contender, waiting for him in the ring. There he is, a brand new young guy. That sounds Indian, about right. Making his first okay. defense here on the Power Hour today. Young man out of Phoenix, Arizona. It's Jay. Land living Jay. in the Pixagoda, Florida area. He's proud of that trophy and rightly so. Uh -huh. There you go. His belt, he says. That's right. Lance James runs under the ring, and we are just about This will be a heck of a match. Now, Aubrey I just, this just right came here. in my mind. Look at me in your screen, Adam. Here comes the bell. Uh -huh. really just Look came in my mind. Here, they tangle up. I don't even there have a question for you. I have to say, no, I have a question. I'll get it yet. Oh, my goodness. Do you, can you guess, can you guess, the question that I get asked the most. I know. I don't know. No guesses. No. Okay. Well, I will just tell you right now the question I get asked most, and that's all I'll say. Then I'll let you, Adam, think whatever you want to think. I will let the audience think what they want to think. I will let anybody think what they think. But you will, are you ready to hear it, Adam? Are you ready to hear the question? That Big I'm guy. asked what, what more than anything. Time. We're doing the match here, and uh, you got down. Sure, I mean, you ready? if I had to guess, I know a lot of people ask you about starting up some kind of the wrestling game. Check, check, Somebody asked. And more importantly, when I bring I Power Pro Wrestling back, Hale. that's I all I will say. I, I usually yeah. immediately I say never. Right. Am I saying that now? Did I say never? No, I did not say never, did I? I did not say I will never do it. Did I say that? No, no I didn't say it. Now, I did it. Also, did I say that I'm going to do it? No, I didn't say that either. Now, what's this Mick Tierney dude doing, man, ruining this match? What do you think about that? What do you think about Mick Tierney Tier Tier coming out here causing chaos? Interrupting this good match. You know that I've been competing Talking about Heel Randy, I think we're seeing Heel Mick. Last four years. And you know that my last four competitors in Ultimate Fighting Championship no have come left the with broken limbs. So you know what you're getting yourself into, son. Now, Mr. Hale, I've tolerated your ignorance and your incompetence for three weeks now. Now, you must think I'm a very stupid man if you don't think I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to push me out of your organization Come on, by Vic. eliminating my interview time and forcing me to Our cam operator is particularly good on this show. Like these boys right here. Come on, Mick, this is not proof of anything. Keep yourself yes. glass of yes. what I've done here. And we all know the truth here, Mr. Hale, is that you and your entire organization you know, one of the biggest complaints from that no good Bruce Pritchard that he said that I didn't do anything with the WWE uh, developmental talent. Isn't that bullshit? Yeah, I hear that a lot, and it definitely pisses me off, too, because I think a lot of those guys look back at it with rose colored, colored glasses, too. It's like... Oh, you've got Mick Terry, but you've got Lance Jade and Derek King in the ring. First off, Lance Jade and Derek King, people are familiar with. They're damn good wrestlers, and you're making it so that Mick does get involved. It's like they just wanted you to throw them out there as instant stars, and nobody knew who the hell they were, you know? And now referee Aubrey Wayne has called for the bell. 
the West yeah, Yankee West Sweet. Freaking cow. I can't believe it. I hope he's coming on here. I hope he's. He usually types stuff. That's his style. He, he types, but he doesn't come on the show asking the hard to answer the hard question. Now he gets attacked. Good. I'm glad, Adam. For Lance was on his way out of here. He says, Hey, forget it. I'll just hang on to the title. I'm not going to interfere. And Tierney jumps him from behind. Tierney put a sleeper on uh, Derek King. You can't Ruben save the last several weeks. I'm doing everything I can, and we do more, obviously, coming up. I'm trying with Mick. I did more with Mick than WWE ever did. Is that a fact? He's putting the. Look at that. He's got Aubrey. Hey, hey, hey. That ain't right. Always selling it good. Here's Buddy. Oh, yeah, I have no complaints about anything Aubrey ever did. He's, He's a fantastic to referee. This is going too far. Uh, Aubrey. Going too far. Look out. Oh, look out. Charity's chance. got the chair now. That's going too far. Watch out, buddy. Look out, buddy. He's been kind of... Be careful. Watch it. He's totally out of control. And this is good, makes sense. Of course, Buddy would be out there showing concern, and then the other guys would want to come out and help Buddy. And they all surround. Tierney is Tierney is taking his time. He's not running out of here. This guy's he's not running out of here. Hey, I'll take all of you. You all get back because you all fear me, Hales. You're all afraid of me. All of you, that's right. Back up, son. Back up. Come on, Vic. Have you had enough, lads? Huh? That's right, you two. All of you, I don't give a... I don't care who you are. Come on, Vic. It's time. Man, we cut that right to break, didn't we? Yeah. Power, uh, power hour is uh, well underway here. And, man, with Vic Tierney out here, I was just telling Randy. As, uh, that we break was kind of abrupt, to, wasn't it? Uh, put the heads together of the, uh, yeah. of the uh, management of Power Pro and decide if, if we really want to have that guy back out here for a scheduled match. match. Yeah, yeah, a little bit See, later on. I like right. that because it helps us create that feeling of tour, getting out of it, that it was getting out of control. Uh, and, past week, and, you know, then David was talking about, do we, are we even sure we want to have him back out for a match? Memphis, Arkansas. West Memphis, National Guard Armory, 730 Belton. Andrew Calvin Jr. says, Randy Hills, I missed the Young Guns Division. They was awesome. How about over there at uh, truck, truck graphics. Can't and, uh, do power pro wrestling without a young tonight. guns division, West can you? Yeah. No, not at all. I think that was one of the most Remember innovative the things, especially at that time, time, having that young guns division. You know, December dream but special my problem dream is, is the past the young guns division ain't young no more. Christopher, the syndicate, Randy Hale syndicate. Uh, Branded by I would have to find new young guns, right? Kid Wicked, Mick Tierney, all Thursday night, 7 o'clock. Maybe like a, I don't know, maybe LT fault. Tony fault. Tony fault. Maybe a syndicate. Brandon Baxter, bring in LT in. Maybe Rick Morton could bring Harry Morton in. the preceding night, don't forget Maybe McKenzie, Tennessee, on the 18th. Tell me here, maybe Jonesboro, Arkansas, on Saturday. Brian Pillman Jr. He says, "Oh, a young gun." And how about let's see? Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. How about Marco Stunt? He lives close to Memphis, close to Jonesboro. Auditorium as Power Pro comes to Clarksdale January 1st, 1999. If I did a Jones card, remember how I did a Best of Memphis match and a Best of Louisville match? Yeah. Lauder won the Best of Memphis. Brian Christopher won the Best of Louisville. I think I would, I think I would book in the future, say for some reason, if Power Pro Wrestling came back with, to the show, and say, for instance, it came back in Jonesboro, say, for instance, the main event was a 12-man elimination Best of Jonesboro match. You know who I would book in that match? Me! <laughs> I am obviously the best of Jonesboro, but you know who I would have? Do you remember my bodyguards when they were younger? They were very good bodyguards. But I think if I brought the bodyguards back, I could win that thing. I don't know who that was, but it wasn't Brandon Baxter. It didn't sound like Brandon at all. 
Uh, I don't know who in the world that was. What's going on there? Was maybe that, maybe we can find sound. out Brandon's you know, been, uh, having Adam? the lights flash on and off. But that yeah. was not Brandon. But no. I was there. And, uh, uh, and uh, Randy Paul said that thing. security has been told not to let Brandon in the building. So, well, we'll see what uh, what develops in the mystery here. Mm. Well, coming up right now, I need to uh, go talk to uh, the king and find out a little yeah. bit about the situation that's been developing over uh, the last couple of weeks here. Dundee made the challenge last week. Here comes the king. Here he goes. With safety. You know, Adam, when we did the first Memphis Memories, we did a for the fans a barbecue dinner. That would be good, wouldn't it? And in Louisville, we did a picture picture bash, and then uh, Memphis for Memories too. We did a, I'm just thinking, Adam, man, that would be a stressful event, and the fans would like eating with their, with their favorite wrestlers. I think we need some food there. Now, here's the thing, Adam. I know you'll be disappointed, but if we have the show in Jonesboro, we can't no have we can't have no beer, Adam. We can't have no whiskey. We can't have have none of that. No vodka. You know why we can't have any of that, Adam? Because it's a dry county, man. That's why. You have to have a special permit, or you go to jail. Bother me one way or the other. Generation I'm just saying, all of these people don't get hot about it. The World Wrestling Federation be a pay-per-view beat without the king, huh? I agree. Right. You know the king is going to be there, and uh, that's what's going to make this thing so successful. By the way, the tickets do go on sale today, and I understand. Let me tell you, don't get left out because World Wrestling Federation pay-per-views sell out almost instantly. So yeah, that was a good I show, mean, the, the Valentine's Day thing, show. I think that was the call, debut uh, of uh, Big uh, Show, and yeah, maybe the show where Bob Holly and Al Snow wrestled out into the river. Yes, absolutely. Here comes John Sajak. Now, Greg, who I like, says some intelligent things, but he says something not so intelligent today. He says, have a show in Hot Springs. Nobody in Hot Springs ever heard of Power Pro Wrestling, never saw Power Pro Wrestling. We never went to Power Pro Wrestling. A show never aired in Hot Springs. They don't know the history of it at all. So I took it upon myself to come on out here. Anyway, thanks for the idea. But that's a no-go. See, everybody wants to be a booker. Jesus Christ. What's that Sean Stasiak doing? You should be coming out here with me, and you know it, baby. Let me, let me, let's get one thing straight, okay? From day one, what's been happening is every time Stacy and I come out here for an interview, you show up. Now, I understand that you may look in a mirror somewhere, Mr. Blue Chipper, and you may like what you see. You may think you look real good. Well, I'm going to keep my head stone, but that's not something that, that I do on a regular basis or on any kind of basis. And I haven't probably done it in 30 this. years. Personally, you are not God's gift to every woman. Every woman on earth is not going to fall down at your feet. And I just got to say this, the last time that I saw something that looked like you, I flushed it. So that's my, that's my opinion of you, Sean Stasiak. You shut up. You're entitled to your own opinion. I know the fact. I know that all the women here in Tennessee and all over the world love the blue chipper. And that's a fact, especially this one right here. You know, ever since I've come to Power Pro Wrestling, she can't keep her eyes off me. She can't keep her hands off me. She calls my house left, right, and center. She's basically stalking me. All along. Stalking you? Stalking me. Stalking. And let's just cut to the point here. Just last Thursday at the Lee Casino, I will prove to all you people and everyone watching on TV that she has been, shut your mouth. She's been on my side from day one. So let's go to those tapes right now. Roll the film. Right, this, is from, this is from Thursday night. As you can see, Waller has got something in his hand. He's got some kind of chain or something, as you can tell. Okay. The cheater that he is, look at that. The referee isn't even paying attention. Dundee, the same thing. Well, I, mean, what is this, what is I didn't see show? any. I didn't I like see a chain or anything. Me and Bill Dundee beating yours and Brian Christopher's brains out. Hey, look at that. Look now, at that. What, now, what I'm grabbing right there is something I found in Mr. Lawler's bag, and I was getting ready to show the referee that. What? Okay, Stacy, look at that. She grabs it from me. Okay. Now, watch this. 
Here comes Lawler, grabbing from behind, the cheater that he is. Now watch Stacy. Watch the signal I get. Watch him powder. He winks at me, tells me to duck. Tells me, roll him up, Sean. There's your opportunity. One, two, three. Fair and square, baby. And all you people know it. You just saw it right there. <laughs> wow. to show you all along she's a blue chipper and that was proof right there can't you get in your head oh so she gave you some kind of signal right yeah. here comes brian brian christopher well that's all we need yeah, yeah. Got, come on. high five you guys are happy yeah. now the world's done stacy and john sitting in a tree hey i am <laughs> she wants him she don't want you. The world saw it. She does not want you. Just like that heifer back there, Samantha. She don't want Dundee. She don't want you. She wants to be with Sean. So why don't you let her go to him, Lawler? Huh? Hey, hey, let me tell you something. I don't see any handcuffs on her. Uh, she's not tied to me or anything. She could be with anybody she wants to be. If she wanted to be with Sean Stasek, she would probably be there. But obviously, you can see who she's standing next to. No, you're obviously making her promises or telling her some type of lies. She's obviously stupid. First of all, she's a woman. Second of all, she's a blonde. You know, hey, so hey, she's going to believe on. anything you tell her. Yeah, look, she's looking at him right now. She was looking at him right now. You know what? If you guys could fight half as good as you can talk, you'd be world tag team champions. But I don't see no gold around those weights. And I'll tell you what, in just a little while, Bill Dundee and I will prove that to you. And you'll be sitting right on the outside with a big smile on her face when I beat your rear end right now. And we got a match coming up. Well, here comes Bill Dundee and Samantha. Had about enough of this uh, fifth grade conversation from you two. Hey, I'm just going to tell you something and you something. You're going to get it right here today, but I got a little thing I got to say to you. I came out here two weeks ago, shot my mouth off how good and bad we was when you was over in London sitting on your throne. And what happened? You get us beat Thursday night. So I made a promise to all them folks, and I'm not too sure that he ain't telling the truth. What, what are you talking what? about? She gets us beat. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, you heard that! You heard that! Yeah, who brought the stuff in there? How much one. does he weigh? He's 260 pounds, and you're about 100 pounds, and you took the powder off him. No, I believe it was all planned, just like he said. Oh, yeah. But we're going to make up for it today, brother. Yeah, yeah Lala. Yeah. Right, we, look, we've you got the match. Some of the people, some of the time, but she ain't going to fool us. Match coming up later on, Lawler and Dundee against Stasiak and Brian Christopher. Boy, those two partners don't seem to be uh, getting along too well either. This could be interesting, fans. Don't go away. The Power Hour will continue in a moment. Now, Tuttle, I hope you're doing good. Tanner, I hope you're doing good. Randy Luss, you're still around? Tanner and Greg. Everybody, we appreciate you watching. And later on, if Rod's still here, we will show you. A little later, this video we started with this morning from five years ago. If you would referee the rest of the night. Also, Dave, this uh, this situation with Streak and Mick uh, Tyranny, I don't know. I don't know uh, what his situation was, but the situation with the referee and Buddy Buddy Wayne, I've removed him from the TV show. That's a good move. Yeah, I've removed him from the TV show, so we got a, uh, a standby opponent for Streak. And let's, uh, if you can hear me upstairs, if we could just go ahead and get this match. All right, so uh, started right. it's going to be Ken Raper against Streak? Yes. Okay. And Bruno okay. is going to be referee for, for the uh, rest of the night. All the other matches. Streak right here as uh, he heads for the ring and Randy I think that's a good decision you made okay yeah yeah hope he's uh hope he's all right here, here comes Streak coming this way and, uh, get ready for wait, the big wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute Randy Hill Randy Hill get over here a second hey this is that this has nothing to do with me and you this has to do with did you just change the match that's exactly right. I just I changed the match. Can I ask? Can I just ask you why would you change that match after what that idiot did? 
in front of everybody That's here. That's why I'm doing it. You saw what he did. It's one thing with the wrestler, but with with Aubrey and with with Buddy, I mean, I just can't condone that. You're right. That's Aubrey and that's Buddy. That's a referee and an old man. Why don't you let the man come in here and get his butt whooped by me? Now, hey, you. Listen, listen, Dale. Listen, Dale. You have to understand. Are you, listen, are you listening to these people? That's what they want to see. They want to see me whoop his butt. Come down. Let me tell you something. Come tell us. Then I personally care less if he ruins your career, but have to understand, I'm responsible. All right, Rod. For Glad you're staying. For this camera equipment, the people here, listen to me, Dale. The audience, I'm responsible for these people, and I think it's too dangerous. So the violence, too dangerous. Too dangerous. I'm from the streets of New York, my friend. With this, with this, I'm doing what's best for this company. Well, Streak doesn't understand. He wants yeah. about with tyranny, but I, uh, hey, I've got to echo Randy's sentiments. I do too. Match is underway. Downtown Bruno is the special referee. He's the senior official of the uh, Whoa. pro wrestling. Boy, Streak is not a happy camper. No, let me sir. Tell you. Belly to back on Raper, and he slammed him down with that thing. Some of the things Randy has said and done over the past few weeks, uh, Corey and I certainly have. Stays in, very, very athletic. Uh, no, the exactly spellbinder, right. very athletic. He's making a very responsible decision as the founder, owner, and president of Power Pro Wrestling. I've got to applaud Randy for that. We've one. got to applaud that decision. That's yes. exactly right. No doubt about it. And Streak very, very, very unhappy, and he's taking it out on Ken Raper because he wants a piece of that mixed tyranny. Randy has stated that Tyranny, who's scheduled for a bout today, will not wrestle. Bruno Lara, who, as you stated, Man, is the senior referee in oh, Power Pro, is going to step in, and he's going to take referee Arby Wayne's uh, place in there. Arby, who's hurt. That's a two count and a three, and three. Gets the win over Ken Raper, and boy, he just manhandled it. Yeah, the neck breaker wrapped it up. Streak was not to be denied here today. He didn't want to waste a lot of time. He just went uh, right to work on uh, Raper. Look, look out. Wow. Big Tierney with a chair across the back of Streak. Come on, Tierney. Come on. Come on. I like that. Tierney, you're banned from here. Hey. Hey, come on. Come on, Charity. Turn him loose. Come on, Corey. Look out. Look out. Come on. Come on. I'm not, I'm not bothering you. You just you stay away from us. Oh, man, this is so good. Hey, 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 hey. Stay away from them. Yeah, stay away from them. All right, let's, let's get it. Let's go to break and let's get this guy out of here. Security, let's get him out. Take him out of here. Man. Man, man, man. Adam. I hadn't been seeing that in so long. That was awesome. Uh, that gave me chills seeing that again. That was so good. Oh, my goodness. I love it. And even, you know, I was blurring the lines by going from the evil owner, founder, and president to when it got down to it, to in the role as the owner. But Brian was out there and Bottle was out there, the whole hill crew. That's the fucking point. You know, that's the, that's the kind of stuff that you have to do that just draws the emotion out. One else word applied to Adam's row, zero F word to Randy's row. Go ahead. And I'm the one that's supposed to be the heel today. That's me. He's all right. He'll be back here just a second. Meanwhile, oh my goodness. Well, he promised he was going to have a birthday bash here today. Here comes Tony Falk. These shows are just not and letting Tony, us down. Adam. Not bring a cake out here. And what do you do? You come strutting out here with a cake. The day sounds, sounds like a pissed off dad. I told you not to bring that damn cake, cake out here. Out here. You know what happens every time we bring a cake around we the wrestling. We cannot room. have a birthday celebration without a cake, Dave Brown. This is a very special day. What is the I cake? I love R.H. What is the cake? Happy birthday, R.H. Love Tony. That's uh, right. At this time, I want to get the syndicate out here. Come on out, guys. Come on out. Well, sounds like the syndicate maybe is uh, not as thrill. Well, maybe they are. Here comes Vic Grimes, Bruno, Baldo, Sean Stasiak, Randy Hale's syndicate. 
As Tony is passing out the party hat, oh, Bruno's already got his party hat on here. There you go. I've heard the two bands that sounded better. <laughs> Show. We got Most important thing, the crowd the is having fun and, and they're loving it. Absolutely. What kind of music is that? <laughs> <laughs> He's just throwing shade left and right. I love it. Here comes the guest of honor, the founder, the owner, the president of Power Pro Wrestling, Randy Hale. They put the birthday hat on him, just celebrating his birthday. And the syndicate is celebrating with Tony Falk, the leader. Clearly, this day has been horrible, Tony, but, but you've done good. I'm sorry, I did good, all right. Good that you came. Happy birthday, all right. Love, Tony. That's, that's you. Did you decorate that yourself? Yes, sir. I did on that can we see the cake? Can you get a, can you, can you get a shot of the cake over there? You can tell Tony, uh, Tony worked on it hard himself. Here. What are you saying, Dave Brown? That does look beautiful. <laughs> now, at this time, I want all the guys in the city to stand right there, all right? Let's say happy birthday. Everybody in here now, come on. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. are not as enthused as you are, Tony. There you go. That's real nice. Probably a grocery store. I have a knife. I want some cake. Oh, no, we're not going to cut it yet. I got a good present. It's, it's, we're going to do that. I got a present, all right? What if I was to win a match right here on TV today dedicated to you in your honor? I gotta be good. That was really bad. That would be good. Get up there, ref. I gotta ref. Okay, get my opponent on out here. All right, I know I can beat this guy. Come on out here, man. Get him out here. I don't see an opponent yet, but uh, Tony's gonna win a match in Randy's honor. Happy birthday, Randy. Here comes Blade getting into the ring. He climbs through the ropes into the ring. Thank you, Mark, give me a present. <laughs> no, I guess not there, Randy. But, uh, happy birthday. Well, happy birthday. Numa. In Randy's honor, this victory is for Randy. Down to the mat. Tony was not paying attention to his opponent. He was over here talking to Randy, trying to get him good with the ball. And he loses the match, so the victory in Randy's honor is a loss. Tony. You're a loser. You're a piece of trash. You say, I never want to see you get as long as I live. I never want to see you get as long as I live. Go to a break and let's get a real wrestler out here. All right, let's, let's take a break. The celebration didn't work out quite the way Tony had hoped it would. I want to go short The partner, Corey Macklin, is back. You okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I know he is. We we uh, Randy has made a good decision banning him, but then he comes running in here anyway. Yeah, I know it. Well, we've got. Uh, I tell you where we are. We're we're right here. We got this uh, match coming up, the tag team match, uh, Baldo with the vicious big Grimes yes. going against uh, Aaron O'Grady and Bulldog Reigns. Here come the two members of the syndicate involved in this one. That's vicious big Grimes right there. Of hardcore wrestling, he says, and up in the ring, it's big. Baldo, he weighs in at about 400 pounds. He's big, he's mean, he's tough. They're both tough. You got that right. Baldo, big guy wrestling out of Boston, Massachusetts. And this bitch is big grimes, as you mentioned, Dave. This guy is tough. Out of Angel Fire, New Mexico. Here comes Bulldog and Aaron O'Grady. O'Grady giving away a lot of weight to everybody else in the ring. Bulldog Reigns, stocky, tough wrestler. Yeah, O'Grady looks like uh, a little smurf compared to these guys. Let me tell you, they are huge. But O'Grady, I'm sure, can hold his own. 
him because he knows how to maneuver around that ring. O'Grady, of course, the young man who won the Young Guns Championship in his first appearance on Power Pro Wrestling. He yeah. just lost the title, but uh, he has shown himself to be an excellent wrestler. A couple of big guys now. Bulldog Reigns knocks Vicious Vic Grimes off his feet. Boy, that's a big move. Vic Grimes uh, comes in at about 378. And Bulldog tags Aaron O'Grady. O'Grady out of Goldport, Nevada. Boy, he's putting it. Points of those boots right to the midsection reversal here. Hard into the turnbuckle. Look out! Whoa! Good move him. by O'Grady. He got that right because he'd have smashed him if he'd have caught him with that one, boy. Look at O'Grady. Flips over the top. Man. Leg seals is taking Damn. him down. Now that's how you handle a big guy. Huh? Let the big guy yeah, go away good against him. And that's what O'Grady did right there. The crash crash Holly the in the falls. WWF. Oh. That time O'Grady hmm. falls and he falls. Aaron O'Grady oh, and Vic had worked uh, against each other the before. They had great, great chemistry together. It's Tanner. He's surprised at the action we're seeing. This is bought on the current chief trainer for the WWE. Matt Blue bought on. Lord, oh. These guys are making awesome tag teams as balled on They are. Size part alone. Of the part yeah. of the syndicate uh, that Randy Hales has put together. Big Grimes comes in and nails. The crowd's Brady great today, Adam. Yeah, the crowd's great, and it's a pretty big crowd. It's, all, it's going around all the four sides of the stadium. long way off to get the Bulldog Reigns over here, and he couldn't do it. Look at this. Fireman's carry. Vic Grimes has got him up. Oh, drops him down and goes to the corner. I didn't know if he was going to try for a cover there or not, but he went to the corner. Tags Baldo back in. Yeah, the old fireman's carry hadn't seen that move in a while, but very effective in Grimes. And Baldo picks him up, and if you notice, they... Oh, great tag. Yeah, look at that. These that was good. I like that. Cover, not oh, yeah. time. No, you're right. They just uh, going to hurt O'Grady oh, while they had him in there. Bulldog having to take on the both of them. One of them needs to get outside, referee, downtown Bruno. O'Grady runs across the way. Got all four of them in the ring. There, there goes O'Grady, the yeah. <laughs> Out on the country floor. Reversal here, Dave. Grimes with Bulldog in. DDT on him takes him down, and Bulldog's got a cover. Got a cover. He's got a pin on him over there. Got him. Yep, double up on him while Bruno is trying to get Aaron O'Grady back out of the corner. A neck breaker, a vicious one by Baldo, covered by Vic Grimes. Tells him one, two, it's over. Man, oh man, these good match. Real good match. Oh, Excellent. Bulldog was great. And Grady great. Ball was great. And Vic Grimes is rolling. Let me tell you. Together, some type of awesome, awesome tag team. Are you all right? Yeah, I am. I apologize for that. But what I want to talk to everybody about is that I'm real proud. I'm real proud of my syndicate. I'm proud of Bodo, and I'm proud of Bishop Vic Brown. Y'all did good. You did good. Go take a shower. Yeah, take a shower. Make sure that big tyranny doesn't need that anymore. So the tyranny's given enough of that trap. That's right. You give me a I'll take care of you. This syndicate is powerful and strong with Sean Stasiak, with everybody. Uh, everybody in the syndicate, and I'm really you know, Tanner, I don't remember the size of the weight back then, but he was tall, and he was thick. One has done been horrible. No, you can't. I, I'm a little story for you, but let me be honest with you. Tony, you're old, you're fat, you're a slob, you're like a bum off the street. There's people in this audience that look better than you, and that's saying a lot. There's people in this audience that, that means you are embarrassment to me, you're embarrassment to this uh, company, Tony. I'm proud of this company, and uh, you're... That today you have good attention and then you screw it up. You screw it up. So I'm sorry. I don't have to know 
no one more chance, Tony. I said, it's my, not my responsibility to pay your bills. And the situation is just like your wife divorced you, I'm going to divorce you. What? I'm going to divorce you. I don't want anything to do with you. And I have something important to tell the people. I'm excited about the West Memphis action tonight. But the Lady, Lady Luck Thursday night. A lot of big things happening. We're back in Jonesboro the 26th. The pay-per-view uh, the 13th. Tony, I'm yeah, sorry. I don't want nothing to do with you. 14th I'm Valentine's Day. All right, now, Tony. No, 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 no. Come on, Tony. Yeah, come on, Tony. Now, we don't I'll need to about that side. cake. Yeah, now, Dave told you about that earlier. We don't need any mess. I'm crying out loud. Come on, Tony. Come on, Tony, now. We don't need that. I don't. Tony, come on. Why are you happy now? What in the world? Come on, get away from me with that stuff. What did you, you do that now? What did you do that Are you happy now? Are you happy now? You're an idiot. You're an idiot. Oh, guys, come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Tony Falk got Randy. You never get another check for shit. He says if you hit him, you'll never wrestle here again, Tony. You guys just get, take that cake and all of that stuff out of here. Get away from me, man. Take a break. Let's take a break. That was rather unique, Adam. He threw a, the cake in his own face. Brandon Baxter's outside trying to get in. What is happening here? No, security's been ordered not to let him in the building. Am I on? Randy Hill, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Randy, come on. I'm tired of yelling. It's screaming. Hey, I want to finish this thing right now. I'm not here. In the middle of the ring, I'm challenging you one-on-one, -on -one, man to man. Come out here and fight me. If you let me in there, we'll do it out here. I don't care if anybody can see it. Come on, Randy. Get him out here. Go to a break. 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 Why don't you just let me in? Huh? This is stupid. Go to a break. The most unusual thing that's ever happened with a cake in a wrestling match, I think. Uh, as Tony put it in his own face there, trying to win favor of Randy Hales, and that didn't work either. Here comes Brian Christopher and Sean Stasiak. They're partnered together here today, going again in a rematch. Superstar Bill Dundee and a kid, Jerry Lawler, and those two. Lawler and Dundee having some trouble themselves. Hold on just one second, right? Real quick, before we get this match started, I want to take a little poll. And I want the audience to participate in this poll right here. A few questions. Who thinks Stacy wants Lawler? All right, you heard that? Now, who thinks Stacy wants Sean? Now, who thinks Corey wants Dave? <laughs> All right, head to the ring. Head to the ring. Enough. Use his own phrase, TV air hall. Yeah, TV air hall. You got that right. Uh, this is the stage game or something, I guess. I don't know. Well, when they were out here earlier, yeah, I, you know, I, I thought I'd wake up. You missed that, Randy. What? Yeah, <laughs> Brian did a poll, he said. Who thinks that Stacy wants Lawler? Who thinks that Stacy wants Stacy at? And he said, "Who thinks Corey wants Dave?" Leading the way, no conversation between Lawler and Dundee. How did they react? And of course, none between Stacy and Samantha either. Trouble between the partners. That is not good in a tag team match. Tanner says option three. Don't sell Brian Christopher and Sean Stacy at short. They're tough. I guess he thinks Corey wants Dave. Stacy and Samantha both at ringside over yeah. in the corner of Lawler and Dundee. I know it. And uh, they're not getting along. They don't have two words to say to each other. Dundee asked Stacy to take his jacket out, and she says, uh, yeah. no, I don't think so. No, I just turned her I back. don't know what's going on here. Today. This is a weird situation. It is very strange over in this corner. Very strained. Is Rod still in the house? Or is he Rod, Page and Rod. We have Tanner here and Al here and Greg here. It's our television main event here today on 
the Power Hour. This is going to be a dandy tag team action. Buddy. Hey, tonight over in West Memphis, Arkansas, Power Pro Wrestling coming to the great fans over in the West Memphis. I got the best tickets over at Truck Graphics, right? Over there for the action tonight, 7.30 bell time over in the West Memphis at the National Guard Armory in West Memphis. Hip toss from Stasiak. Right, and still in the house. Somebody the say. Everybody's invited to West Memphis tonight. Get over on this side of the bridge, drive on over. Should be terrific if you're on the Arkansas side. I certainly of the bridge, like to see uh, Stasiak again. Power pro Wouldn't you? Action. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Hey, I would like to see Bulldog Brains. Bulldog Brains again. Bardo. Street. Yeah. Aubrey. Oh, no question. Whips him into the turnbuckle, follows it with a hip toss, takes him down, and too sexy over to check on uh, Stasiak. Well, I miss Rogers. Yeah, he's believing the uh, propaganda that uh, Stasiak is putting out there. In case you joined us late, Bruno refereeing. He's become the special referee today after referee Aubrey Wayne was injured by Mick Tierney, who was running a Great seating. Yeah, Listen to Mama seat. Oh, He's in the house. Tierney's unhappy. Okay, I can go along with that. He's still on Washington, right? Does your mom still live on Washington? And he feels he has not been booked at the top of the card. He, he doesn't want to work his way up. He's got a great reputation and uh, yeah, he's fighting and all I've of that. You know, I'm not saying that I'm booking wrestle. I'm just like to see these guys. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 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 Yeah, that's I think a guy's from England asked me if there was a place where he can watch the Power Pro shows, and I said, yes, every Monday night right here. Stasiak is complaining about that to the referee. Stasiak is, uh, is being di his attention being diverted a little bit to the crowd. The crowd's been on him quite a bit, and rightly so. Look at Stasiak. They've got Dundee here and Christopher double-teaming him over in the corner now. Yeah. They tagged, says Christopher. I don't think they did. I think they just uh, were double teaming Dundee. That's and now Christopher is staying in there. Wasn't a tag at all. Stasiak just stepped out of there. And Christopher steps in. And he pounds away on the superstar. Takes him across the way. Slams him into that turnbuckle. And a little strutting from the two sexy Brian Christopher. Christopher. Boy, look at him slam away on Dundee. Superstar whipped hard into the turnbuckle. Brian comes right in! Oh. And he's home alone. There's nobody there. The King steps in. Let Lawler go. He's oh. taking care of both of them. All four of them in the ring. Dundee is in there now. And this one has suddenly gotten wild. Yeah, look at the act. Oh, Stasiak goes to the knee pad, pulls out a chain. Here comes Stacy in. She takes it from him, tosses it over to Lawler now. Look out. Oh, Bruno's there. He Bruno the calls for the bell. You know what happened? Bruno saw Lawler with a chain. He didn't see Stasiak with it. He just saw Stacy throw the chain over to Lawler. That's all he saw. So, Good storytelling. Stacy has just tossed from the match again. We'll be right back. Extremely good. No interview here. No interview. Listen, referee, I swear to you, Stacy had the chain and she gave it to Lawler. Now, That's what happened. This is a mistake. Where did, she get, from, mistake. Where did she get it from? That's the question. Let's go outside real quickly. Huh? Yeah. So Brandon is out there. There he is. Still calling for Randy to come out. And not let me in the last five, Randy. You took me in. We were best friends for a couple months ago. Remember? You gave me a key to the office. You gave me a key to the house, and you gave me a key to the car. Well, if I'm not mistaken, this is the key to the house, and I believe this is the key to the car you gave me. I believe that's your car. I'm going to West Memphis tonight. I'm going to party my way on over there, and Randy House, call yourself a cab. You're going to need it. 
I guess uh, Randy may have heard that if he's watching the monitor. This is so good. Just really illustrates laying out a TV show. You've got multiple things going on at once. Because he's getting in Randy's car, and then he'll see him over in West Memphis tonight. See him in West Memphis tonight. Look out! Look out! He's back out there, and uh, there goes Brandon back, <laughs> headed for West Memphis, hey. Arkansas. There goes Randy. There's Randy Owls out there. Randy running after him. Hey. We'll see you next week for the Power Hour at 11 o'clock. See you then. Now, let me tell you what put me in a good mood. First of all, that show put me in a good mood, but I've been in a good mood for a long time. We'll review the show today and let Adam tell his comments. The first thing I want to do, the thing that I have to go back to 2017, five years ago today, when I was having a bad day, just like I was having a bad day a little earlier today and something it always gets me in a good mood. I got my revenge, just like I'm gonna get my revenge from Brandon back to still in my car this particular day in 2017. Let's rewatch this because I want my buddy Rod to see it. Can't talk over it at all, but let's watch it. This is Baxter's work. This is K Vine. That's what I think about Brandon Baxter. He'll be surprised at this. He'll be surprised at this. Where is he? Hey! Hey! Baxter! Brandon Baxter, you coward! You coward! You stinky coward! Where's Baxter? Is everybody gone? Hey, are you locked up? Here we go! Here we Brandon, go! What are you doing out here? What are you doing? I'm working. This where's is Baxter? I don't know where he's at. Hey, you're the, guy, you're the guy, you're the guy. Hey, shut up and listen to me. You're the guy, as I was driving from Memphis, said you could want me 120 pounds. Did you say that? Could you? We can't could you? Do you think here. you could want me? You know better. We can't do this here. We have to get out of here. Ah! Oh. Ah! Come on, you redneck. You a tough guy? You a tough guy? Oh, 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 you tough? Oh, you tough? Oh, you tough? Do it. All right. And that's how you draw a house because we were building to coach Bilotto, the new ASU basketball coach, and Brandon Baxter against me and Derek, my hair against Coach Bilotto's hair. And it's it good, real good business. The place was packed. It was a lot of fun. I want to bring back in, I'm finished talking about myself, just real briefly, Adam, a recap of your thoughts on the show today. What do you think? I mean, I hate it because, again, it sounds like a broken record, but just every week we watch these, and every week, you know, 34, 35 episodes in, it's not slowing up. I mean, it's getting better and better every week, and there's more and more stuff going on, and there's still more to come. Next week's show is going to be pretty cool because we're going to get a tour of Lawler's house. So how about that? So the cops did not come, Rod. Why don't you just review, yeah. you review what we're going to see next week? Yeah, sure, absolutely. So coming up next week will be, of course, the December 19th edition. Jerry Lawler hosts a tour of his home. You'll see Aaron O'Grady going against Brian Christopher. Sean Stasiak will go against Blade. Mick Tyranny has an interview, and then Mick challenges a fan in the audience and drags him in the ring. You'll want to see that. Kid Wicked has a segment as well. The Young Guns title, Lance Jade going against Derek King, and then...
since Lawler's on tour of his house, there is an invasion of Lawler's house. So you'll definitely want to see it next week again. Week after week after week, these shows just keep getting better and better, and it's not about to let up as we're getting close, very close, to the end of 1998, Randy. I'll ask uh, Power Pro Wrestling 2022, but, you know, I don't think I'm in the mood. I, I've got a wedding coming up. I've got two weddings coming up. I can't do no wrestling in 2022, uh, 20, but in 23 or 24, 25, my announcers will be Michael St. John and Dave Brown. That's who, you know, I think if I ran a live event in Jonesboro, my host and my ring announcers would be Bud and Randy Myers. I would, right. I, I would yeah. give them, uh, I would give them that for sure and ride like the, the deal yeah. for sure. This has been a fun show and now we're going to start the plug a ruse and Adam, I want you to switch over where you can access the talking Memphis wrestling stuff because we will come tomorrow night at 7 o'clock Central Standard Time for Talking Memphis Wrestling. And one of the things we will do, we on Talking Memphis Wrestling with Michael St. John, Pat Trammell, and Chris Ellis, a bunch. We are going to return with the blast from the past segment. We will talk about a 1975 Jonesboro, Arkansas card, and you have access to that, a 1975 Jonesboro, Arkansas card, and certainly as I wait for Adam to put that on there, and also we're going to talk about two 1971 cards, one in Memphis and one in Birmingham, Alabama, so I guess uh, Adam couldn't find the Jonesboro card, but there's the Birmingham card and there's the Memphis card. We will also, there we go, look at this on I'm not even going to, you see the card, we'll talk about it tomorrow. I will also return with more Memphis Wrestling Road Stories. We had great feedback from that last week. We'll do it again tomorrow for sure. And then a in depth look at Monday Night Memories. The event that got me on the book is for, is my, today Randy Hills, the people around there gave me credibility with the office, maybe gave me credibility with the fans all around, and we created the Memphis Wrestling Hall of Fame. Great drawing there for Jerry Lawler. So we will tell you stuff that had never been told before. Oh, well, certainly, it's just going to be exciting as we do talk in Memphis Wrestling tomorrow night at 7 o'clock Central. On Wednesday night, or Wednesday morning, actually, on the front row with Bud Row at 953theticket.com or 96.9 FM, 95.3 FM, 970 AM. At 9 o'clock in the morning, be with Bud on the front row with Bud Row. And certainly, let me think, next Monday, Power Hour, next Tuesday, Talking Memphis Wrestling, next Wednesday will be on the front row again. I don't may come to town next week. I've got a family reunion and my nephew Cal's very final football home ball game as he's a senior and they have a great, great season going on do you have final words to say adam no i'll just uh, i'm good Look, looking forward to everything coming up it's going to be a, a good show tomorrow night join us right back here same time tomorrow for talking memphis wrestling and of course uh randy like you said uh on the ticket front row with budro you can stream it anywhere 953 the ticket.com you can listen live to randy on jonesboro radio all right, Adam, thank you very much, and thank everybody for listening, being active. Really had a lot to contribute today, and I appreciate it. See you tomorrow night for Adam Dunn. I'll be back with Adam, Michael, Chris, and Pat tomorrow. I appreciate it, Dave, appreciate it. Rod, man, you're great today, and Al, Tanner, everybody that contributed. Frank Seaton, kiss your mama, hello, ask her if she remembers me. My seventh grade teacher. How about that? Well, for everybody, I'm RH, Randy Ells, and I'm out. Good night. Living the dream.
Memphis Wrestling. The Randy Hill Story is available now at randyhillsmemphiswrestling.com. Wrestling. Power Pro Wrestling.